Well, happening now, the Columbia Gorge Food Bank has a new warehouse and community food center. It is designed to be a central hub for anti-hunger efforts in Hood River, Wasco, and Sherman counties. And joining us live from the community food bank is manager Sharon Thornberry and community philanthropy manager Sylvan Shaw. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Kid and Emily. Good morning. Yeah, well, tell us about this new food center and how it came about. So, Oregon Food Bank started about seven years ago, redeveloping the regional food bank for this region. And one of the things that we desperately needed was a larger warehouse. We're currently working on a 2,000 square feet. And the new warehouse, when finished, will uh, be over 11,000 square feet. Um, we're in renovations and we're hoping to finish um, by, the, by the end of November. So by the end of November, we'll have this new warehouse hopefully uh, up and, and running. How will that affect the distribution services and the, and the services you can provide to the Gorge communities? So we're currently serving over 5,000 people a month through our community partner agencies. This will give us about five times more capacity to, um, to both respond to emergency hunger, to serve the everyday needs of our communities, and to expand into communities who have never been served before. We work in an area with a lot of rural, very hard to reach places and um, building those community connections to provide the food that people need is um, what this new project is all about. Yeah, well, we talked a little bit about this uh, when we introduced you, but uh, grocery prices going up dramatically right now. Uh, so is that affecting the number of people who are trying to access the food bank? Yes, it is. I had a conversation with one of our organizations this week and they were telling me how many people have number one come back after maybe a year of because of increased staff not needing to come to the food bank and now they're at the food pantry again and they have as many as a dozen to 15 new families a week coming for services uh, and that's just one of our food pantries um, and we have places that are very rural. It's fit over 50 miles to a supermarket and there's a food pantry there. And so um, if you can't afford the gas to get to a grocery store, a regular grocery store, you can go to your food pantry. And um, for people living in rural areas that we serve, gas is a huge issue and affects everything getting to medical appointments, getting to work, because most people don't work exactly where they live. And so one of, one of the places that their budget can take, takes the hit and is food, and they can come to the food pantry. So luckily we have more rural food pantries than we've had since the pandemic began, but we're still not serving every area of our region. Yeah, it, it's one of those things when, when you hear about individuals and families having to choose between gas and groceries, that is such a stressful, difficult situation to be in. Well, in the meantime, while this new warehouse is being built, so we've, we've got this expansion that we can look forward to, but how can people access help right now? Um, we have uh, on our Facebook page and on our website, we have information about where food is available. Um, there are over 30 partners who provide food in a variety of ways. We provide food not only to food pantries, but to supplemental programs that serve Latinos. And uh, of course, our migrant farm worker season is starting. And so that's our newest challenge. And then we work extensively with the native community here, the, both those who live across the, along the river and who also live in other communities in our service region. Sharon and Sylvan with uh, Columbia Gorge Food Bank doing some great work out there. Uh, happy uh, about the new warehouse where you'll be able to be more efficient and serve more people. Uh, thank you for joining us on AM Extra this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken and Emily. And we'll, of course, follow the progress on that construction and let you know when it's complete. For more information on the new Food Bank Center, we have everything you need to know in the AM Extra section of coin.com.